Welcome back to the Zappoli Statement Builder for Storyline walkthrough videos. The first video showed you how to construct a couple of Zappoli statements for your Storyline course. In this video, I'm going to show exactly how to add them into Articulate Storyline. Let's get started. I'm here in Zappoli looking at those statements I made last time. To add one to Storyline, first I need to get back into the statement, which I do with the Edit button here under Actions. I've already configured the statement, so I don't need to change anything. I can just go over here to Output. Of course, I could have done this when I first made the statement as well. I click the Copy button, and you will notice a few interface changes since the last video, and it's copied onto my system clipboard. Next, I switch over to Storyline, which I already have open to my Zappoli sample course. In Storyline, I'm going to scroll down to slide 1.7, since that's where we said this statement was going. You'll see on this slide, I have a button for the verb reference chart that I mentioned in the statement. The Zappoli statement you constructed will be run by Storyline. We need to tell Storyline when to run it, which in this case is when the user clicks the button. You can see this button already has a trigger to jump to the PDF file when clicked. That's also when we want to send the Zappoli statement. So I'm going to click this button, and I'm going to click the Add Trigger to add a new trigger. I'm going to change the action to Execute JavaScript, because that's what the Zappoli block is. Then I'm going to click the dot 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 button to add the script. I'm going to paste in that block that I copied out of Zappoli. Then I click OK. I make sure that the event is what I want when the user clicks this rectangle that I'm using as a button, so I'll go ahead and click OK again. That completes the first trigger. The next trigger is a little more interesting because it's using a variable. First, let's take a look at where it's going. I scroll down to slide 19, which is where we said this would be. This is my user feedback slide. Again, you can see there are already some Storyline objects I've set up. I've added an input field, and with that, Storyline added a trigger to set a variable to the value of the input whenever I leave that input field. My Zappoli statement is about getting this comment out in an XAPI statement. I'm going to flip back to Zappoli, cancel out of this statement. I don't have any changes, so I can cancel. Otherwise, I'd want to save. And now I'm going into the other statement that I built previously. Again, I click that Edit button to go in. This time, though, I have a change. You'll remember that I selected the verb commented, and I'm going to stick with that. But on the next step, I had said when I set this up that my variable was going to be called textbox1. Now you can see that the variable in Storyline is text entry. So I'm going to change that to text entry. And case does matter here, so I want to make sure that I've got that right. The rest of the statement is complete, so again I go over to the output side and I click copy. Now that I've got that Zappoli block, I flip back to Storyline. Just like before, I'm going to add the trigger to the rectangle. So I click the rectangle, then the Add Trigger button. Again, I want Execute JavaScript. Again, I click the dot dot dot. And again, I paste the Zappoli block. You notice that Zappoli adds some comments so that you can make it a little easier to move back and forth between these two applications. You can track down where this block of code came from if you need to make changes later. Now that I've got the script there, I click OK. I check that the rest of the trigger is correct when the user clicks rectangle 1, so I hit OK again. It's really that simple. My Storyline course now has the two Zappoli statements that I built in the previous video. These statements will only run from the published course. When previewing a course, Storyline doesn't execute JavaScript triggers. In the next video, I'll show you how to publish from Storyline.